All right, today's topic for this video is uh, the definition of velocity. Velocity is defined in the simplest sense as distance divided by time. And a little bit more specifically, we're going to define it as delta d over delta t. And we're going to relate the concept of velocity or the definition of velocity to distance time plots. So to make a long story short, the velocity, it turns out, is the slope of a dt plot, which I have shown to the right, right here. So I've plotted the distance of an object from the origin as a, as a versus time, or as a function of time, on the horizontal axis. And I'm going to relate the delta d over delta t expression to the slope of the graph. In fact, if you recall from basic algebra, slope is defined as rise over run, or delta y over delta x. So the two expressions right here should look very similar. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a linear expression involving velocity, distance, and time uh, from the definition. And to do that, I'm going to expand delta d into d final minus d initial over delta t. And just a little talk about the delta concept. The delta concept is a change in any variable that the delta symbol appears in front of. So this is the Greek letter delta, and it means change in. So delta d means the change in distance from the origin. So your final distance minus your original distance gives you delta d. And we have to expand delta d in order to come up or derive this linear equation that I've mentioned. So the first step is to multiply both sides by delta t. And we get v delta t equals d final minus d initial. The last step is to add di to both sides, leaving me with v delta t is equal to, well, that's, let's see, plus di equals d final. All right, so here is our linear equation, and I'm going to turn it around and rewrite it one more time so that we can see the correspondence to y equals mx plus b from your algebra class. All right. So your final distance from the origin is given by your velocity times the amount of time that you run the experiment plus your initial distance from the origin. And the velocity is the slope of the, of the dt plot. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pick two ordered pairs off of this plot and calculate the slope. I'm going to pick this one which is 3, 7, and I'm going to pick this one, and I like to pick ordered pairs as far apart as possible.